Do you need to cut expansion joints into concrete? Well, it depends on what you're asking. Are you asking about expansion joints or control joints? Because these are two technically different things. Now, concrete can and does expand. 100 feet of concrete, when exposed to a 100 degree Fahrenheit temperature differential, will expand by three quarters of an inch. If you do not account for that three quarters of an inch expansion, something is going to break when that concrete expands. So that is a very important factor when you're thinking about, do you need to cut expansion joints in? Do you have a situation where concrete is kind of stuck between two hard surfaces, such that if it expands, it's gonna break something? Then you absolutely need to have expansion joints. However, what about control joints? Are control joints the same thing? In my mind, they're not. What a control joint is in concrete is not to allow for expansion, but to encourage the concrete to crack in one area versus another. Concrete shrinks as it cures, so it's expected that concrete's going to crack. Now, if you have a perfect decorative concrete finish, you kind of don't want a big ugly crack right through the center of that, so what you would do is you would add control joints around that area such that you segment the concrete into kind of smaller bite-sized pieces, and what the logic is is that if and when the concrete does crack, hopefully it will crack where you put those control joints in. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.